Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes from Africa, comes from the motherland, if you know what I mean. And when I woke up this morning, well, first of all, before I get to the part where I woke up, I want to send a special, big special thanks to my subscribers, my family, no matter what part of the world you're in or what crease, what, not crease, what creed, race, or color you are. Big shout out to you all for sending me that because I had some of my people, you know, yeah, we got subscribers everywhere for those who've uh, been on YouTube a while. But anyway, big shout out to my subscribers from Africa. Yes, yes, from Africa. I got some all the way in Kashnakistan. You know if I got them in Kashnakistan in Australia, I damn sure got some in, in uh, Africa. So big shout out to them for sending me this link to this video because they're like, we see you talk about pastor. You talk about this pastor here. Because this pastor is not right. So I said to myself, well, damn, I got to do something about this because I just can't discriminate just uh based on American pastors. So this is universal worldwide. So basically, I'm not going to be able to travel no damn well. No speaking engagements in Africa, just like it won't be none in Florida also because they're going to be all on my ass like white on rice. Now, back to when I woke up this morning. You know how you wake up sometimes in the morning, you just feel something ain't right in the air. You be looking around like, what the hell is going on? And come to find out, Lo and behold, this dirty pastor, yes, we have an old dirty dog. And if you don't want to hear this right here, I advise you to turn the video off right now because it's not, not going to be anything nice. Because when I woke up this morning, I said, Lord, what is it that you want me to do today? And he, lo and behold, he slid me right into my house shoes, slid me to the bathroom, to the refrigerator to get some water, and all the way to my office and said, Trey, you got to speak to the people. I said, Lord, what do I say? He said, I don't know. It's just up to you. I will give it to you all in due time. So I said, okay. He said, press record. So I press record and here we go. Now, way down in the jungle deep, the badass lion stepped on the signifying monkey's feet. The monkey said, mother effer, can't you see? Why are you standing on my got, G-O-T, damn feet? Anyway, you all know the rest of the story. But this is grown folks talk, so please, pretty please, get those precious sweet kids out the way because they ass should be in school next week or the week after. Or if y'all send them to school, you're talking about, well, I'm home training minds with shit. Your ass better make sure you graduate to high school before you try to homeschool any damn by the least middle school. But anyway, get those bad kids out the way. And for those who want to be kids and for you kids who sending me these emails and stuff, talking about, man, look, man, I be there with my mama. She look at me all crazy with my daddy and stuff. Huh? I'm like, how old you? Are? Only 14 with body. And that's, that explains everything. So please get them out the room right now. So us Grown folks can have grown folks talk. Yes, this GFT, grown folk talk time. Get them out the room right now. Okay, hopefully out the room right now. And you might say, but damn, Trey, I just stood my ass away. You should have known what kind of video this was from the moment you read the title. Now, if... You find yourself in these situations where you're dealing with infidelity. I advise you, number one, to make sure the shit is true. Just like I didn't believe this. We have a pastor, yes, a, 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 over one of these big old churches, well, was over one of these big old churches. He was accused of doing what? Not sleeping with the deaconess, not sleeping with uh, the mother from another church. No, not sleeping with the deacon also, you know, some get down like that. No, this pastor was accused of sleeping with his own daughter, his married daughter at that. I wouldn't care if she was married or not. It's still his damn daughter. You might be saying, oh, yes, I told you it's going to be one of those damn stories. How in the hell could you uh, make a child, uh, wipe your child butt when your child is young coming up, clean them, and then you look at them in a sexual way later on? I can't do that. Number one, it's, it goes against my creed. But one thing I will say, you know, pastors over here in America, yes, they'll get down and they'll sleep with your damn sister, your auntie, your mom, and your grandma. Most of them will not sleep with their children. Now, that's no shots, no 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 shots thrown at anybody from any, any part of the world, but, you know, different People in different parts of the earth do things different. So, you know, we that's something we don't really do over here. But anyway, and not only did the pastor get caught, but guess who he, who he got called by? Yes, he got called by his own son-in-law. Now, I ain't the one to gossip, so you didn't hear that from me. But his son-in-law was looking through his uh, daughter. I mean, not his daughter. <laughs> I'm thinking about the pastor's daughter. He was looking through his wife's phone one night. He, I guess he just felt something was in the air. Like, he smelled sex in the air. And he just started looking through her phone. And lo and behold, yes, he's seen... His bay, his boo, since they booed up, busting it wide open for her daddy. And you couldn't you imagine yourself and you be seeing your 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 wife and your father in law, they be all hugged up. You like, well damn, he hugged her just like I hug her. Damn, he's grabbing her ass just like I grab her ass. 
And then you're like, oh, no, nah, they ain't doing nothing. You know how we think. Like, no, nah, they, they ain't doing that. He's a pastor. That's, his, that's her dad. Come to find out, dad was knocking his daughter down. It's a sad situation. Yes, I told you it's going to be one of those kind of videos. And you might be asking yourself, well, damn, why didn't the pastor go get somebody else? The pastor was married and everything. And when, and when the uh, his wife found out, which, which she was the one that found out first, then she confronted him. The son-in-law took the uh, the messages, the picture. It was, mess it was pictures and everything. I wish I had the receipts, and I looked all over uh, for the pictures for research purposes, but I couldn't find them. You feel me? So uh, the son-in-law went to Judith, which is the pastor's wife, and showed her, and then she confronted the pastor. So don't say this is hearsay, somebody lying on these pastors, because I wouldn't dare lie on one of them. They do enough dirt on their own. I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Surely as we go. Pastor accused of sleeping with his married daughter. Resigns. Hell, they asked. You look at we ain't in the old days. What they used to do in the old days, they would call what? uh Stone you to death. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Now, a cleric at the A-Gap for All Nations Church. What a hell of a name. United Kingdom prophet Walter Masacha accused of sleeping with his married daughter. Has been forced to resign from his role as leader of the church. They should have been making resign. You look at it like an old hungry uh beat up pit bull in the face like this right here. You see somebody look like that, I'll tell y'all about these facial expressions because it shows what's inside of a person. I mean, it ain't right all the time, but ninety five percent of the time it's right. That's just like if you see somebody and they look all like like this, what you think? They mean, but if you see somebody looking peaceful, what you think? They're good, but they can be a trick too also. Now according to Jean Gasho, the United Kingdom based Zimbabwean pastor Walter Masacha was exposed after his son-in-law, his own son-in-law. Imagine he went over there to his dad, asked for advice. What? How do I make her come to me? How do I make her uh, accept me? Why is she always getting upset with me? And, and he not knowing dad over there knocking her down. Daddy the one got your, your wife messed up. Now, after he exposed his uh, dad, uh, well, his uh, father-in-law, through illicit, explicit, messages and new pictures that his wife had been allegedly sending to her own father. Now, why in the hell is the daughter sending her dad, who is a pastor, married and everything, her own father, new pictures of her? Why in the hell do you want to see that? What kind of perversion is this? That goes to show you, boy, the world is going to hell in a handbasket and you better jump out if you know what I mean. Now, he then took this incriminating evidence to his mother-in-law, Judith, and you can imagine the look on Judith's face. She was flabbergasted. She was appalled. I mean, she's seen them pictures and stuff. She's like, damn, my baby more flexible than me. Let's continue. Now, Judith is reported to have confronted the so-called quote-unquote man of God. He's not a man of God who confessed to heaven. Now, he confessed. This is not me saying it. This is not nobody else saying it. The son-in-law, the wife, the, well, the ex-wife now, because she filed for divorce. Nobody. He confessed out his own mouth like Jimmy Swagger did that day in the Baton Rouge. He said, I have said <laughs> Forgive me. He confessed. Not me. So I don't want nobody saying we lie on nobody over here because we don't do that on this channel. You know, we might go in on your ass. We damn sure ain't going to lie on you. We'll try our best not to lie. And if, and if we do happen to say something that may be misleading, we would gladly clean it up because I don't want nobody saying I'm over here uh, lying on no damn body. I just reported how it's written. Let's continue. Now, he confessed to having the taboo relationship, basically, a.k.a. knocking the boots. Judith is now reported to be divorcing Masacha, and she needs to divorce his ass. Because I imagine how bad you would feel. Number one, if your husband cheat on you, imagine how bad you would feel if your boyfriend cheat on you, your girlfriend, your your wife. Now imagine if it was the person's own mother or father they're cheating on you with. Imagine how distraught. Let me use y'all words. Imagine how distraught you all would be. I would be torn apart. I would be shed into a thousand. Pieces. You feel what I'm saying? Just no good to know damn about it. And I'll be questioning my own manhood. Like I'll be looking down at Samson Nikolai Vokal. And you might be saying, well, damn, Trey, what the hell is that? If you don't know it, don't worry about it because I got a name for mine. But anyway, back to the story. I don't want you all to get your minds off the story. But you got to question your own self like, Cat Williams said, am I a tiger? Am I a beast in bed? Why did she do that to me? Am I good enough? Don't my wood set her cookie on fire? You be questioning your own damn self. But I'm telling you, sometimes you can't question yourself because we have what we call, just like the Florida teacher, we have people that have greedy cookies that will go out their way to have sex. And we also have greedy woods that will go out their way to have sex, even at the expense of their own children. Let's continue before I get in trouble. Somebody get mad at me. Now, in a statement, one of the leaders of the church, Francis, Athua, that's the name, Athua, 
said that Prophet Walter Masacha, and he's a prophet. What kind of prophet is he? A prophet of destruction. Walter Masacha was stepping down due to a serious moral fail. Oh, we call that a moral fail. That's not a moral fail. That's what you call a disaster. That's what you call a hell of a father who would not let his daughter go. I mean, damn, she used to be daddy's little girl. And maybe you always going to be daddy's little girl. But I'm sure this is not what we meant when we think about the phrase daddy's little girl. He give a whole new meaning to it, don't it? Now, also said, this is the statement they wrote. Sadly, as a result, we would like to inform you that Dr. Walter Masacha has with immediate effect taken leave of absence in order to deal with a serious moral fail, which he has informed his family, the board of trustees, and the commissioners. What kind of shit is that? What y'all had a damn uh, Scrabble game with this guy? Y'all played Jenga, Monopoly, the game of life? That's too much right there. My, my response would have been like this. That's, that's why I need to get me an organization and I'm going to just run that joker just like damn... uh. Tuki or some damn body. If you don't know who Tuki is, don't even worry about it. We're going to run it with an iron claw. My statement will be in one sentence. Look, we caught his ass, we fired him, and we hope that he goes to jail. Thank you. And that would have been another story. But let's continue with their statement. He is brokenhearted. He is brokenhearted. What about the damn son that, that that's brokenhearted? Imagine if you flip it through your wife's cell phone and you see her busting it open and you think she's sending this to any Tom, Dick, and Harry, but to come to find out she's sending it to her pappy. Imagine how mad you would be. Imagine how distraught. That's the word for the day, distraught. When you talk to somebody in the store today, they make you mad. Say, you are making me distraught. Just say it. Now, back to the story. They said, he is brokenhearted and distraught at the result of the misdemeanors. That ain't no misdemeanor. That's what we call a uh, aggravated stupidity charge. That's a capital charge. That's what we call a felony. But they say the misdemeanors, it feels that he is not fit to continue as spiritual leader of a gap. This has come as a significant shock and blow to Dr. Judith in the family and no doubt to many a gap children and other people worldwide. Yes, and I'm one of those people worldwide too. Yes, you got me way in America, deep down in the damn South, talking about this shit. That's one thing about this internet, boy, you can't hide nothing. Nowhere. It don't matter if you're in the jungles of Africa all the way to the damn cold mountains of Siberia. We're going to find out about you. Now, a full investigation will be conducted in due time. In due time. Damn, we should, you probably, we, we, you probably already had this investigated case closed, everything. Don't tell me this is going to be a cold case file. Now, they also say, in the appropriate disciplinary action shall be taken. What y'all going to do? Stone the man to death? All I don't think you do just fire him and his wife, leave him and take his damn money from him. I mean, what else can you do to him? Now, many on hearing this will be deeply shocked. Yes. The Trey King Show family is deeply shocked and appalled and disturbed by such a disappointing revelation. Yes, this is a hell of a revelation. You know what I'm saying? 18 chapter verse 6, 1, whatever. Now, we implore you to remember, most especially his gracious wife, Dr. Judith, and consider a Christ-like response to all who are involved at every level of the church family. I don't know what the hell they mean by that, but damn, let's just continue. Now, they also said, we would like to kindly ask you to remember him. Who's him? The dirty ass pastor? No, we don't want to remember Walter. You ever heard that song? Hey, little Walter. You ever heard that before? We don't want to remember little Walter. You feel me? Now, they also said, we want you to remember him and his family in your press. I remember the wife. I remember the uh the son-in-law, the daughter. No, nah, I can't deal with that. That's just too much because you know damn well your ass knew better than sending your damn daddy who was a preacher. I wouldn't give a damn if he wasn't a preacher. He could be a bricklayer. He could be a carpenter for all I care. He could be a damn janitor. You don't bust it open for daddy. No, no, that, that just, forget all that. We, I, can't, I can't do that right there. That's, I'm going to leave that up to God. They also says, in view of the fact that he is on leave from his official role, we would like to ask you all this time to avoid contacting him. We also urge you to avoid contacting Dr. Judith. Basically, don't contact no damn body. They also say in the family, in respect of their privacy at this difficult time. It's no privacy because this shit is all over the damn internet. At this time, we encourage prayer filled with loving action to support one another and keep our focus on our Lord 
Jesus Christ, who by his Holy Spirit is the only one that will enable the current tragedy to be worked out ultimately for his own glory somehow, sometime. Oh my goodness, right there. How you going to say we're going to leave it for Jesus to work it out, but then you're going to say somehow, sometime. That ain't for you to understand. My words are not your words. My understanding, my thoughts are not your thoughts. How the hell are you going to say somehow, sometime? Let 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 Christ work it out if he's going to work it out, but I don't think he's going to work this one out right here. He's just going to say, you know what? The hell with this one right here. They dropped the ball on this, but as as surely as you all can see, we have a lot of people who profess to be men of God and is clearly not a man of God. For you would know them by what? The fruits that they bear, the fruits of their labor. What do they do on a daily basis? Now, this same pastor, and I did my research. He had a, a uh, some little uh, group. You know how they have the little uh, praise dance? Yeah, y'all know about the praise dance, especially my damn uh, sanctified people, Church of God in Christ. Don't act like y'all ain't, ain't sanctified and stuff. You know that's the name we used to use now. Some people still use it. Kojic, Church of God in Christ. Baptist, Pentecostal, you know you had them pray dance and women come out there and look, not women, yes, some some had women, but most would be young, young girls or uh girls in their late teens or early twenties. They come out there in them tight ass little dresses on. Some of them had spandex on, tights on, with the little wands and shit, waving shit all around there. I'm like, what do, what do this gotta do with God? You know what I'm saying? I was feeling the word now. Shit, I'm I'm up here worrying about them jumping off a trampoline. What the hell kind of mess is this? But he had a praise dance team basically that they call Daddy's little girls. Yes, you think I'm lying? Ask somebody in the damn church. They had, they had a whole team, and they said he used to touch on these girls and everything, grab on their buttocks. And this is what the story said. I'll leave a link in the below. You can go check it out. But anyway, be careful who you listen to. And also, I done seen some of these pastors. Yes, I done seen some of these pastors had these women on their knees eating grass. I done seen them outside on a beach, tooted up while they behind them, smelling their ass. I tell you, for one, for sure, there is no class. But if you follow these bastards, your soul will not last. Let me know what you think about that. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel with sugar on top. I'm not begging, though. But anyway, please share this video with your hypocrite ass family and friends, church members, any damn body, because they think they shit don't stink. They think everybody in the streets the only one doing shit wrong when most of these damn devils Shall I say it? Reside in the church house. Yes, you re you at the church house for a lot of you weren't always in church and stuff. I do not like when the people that's supposed to be the people of God look down on the people in the streets. If anything, you're supposed to go out there and uh and uh help them. You're supposed to be on the highways and byways. Huh? I don't see nobody on the highways and byways. They be right there in them pews, dressed up, looking good. And that's not for everybody because you have some people that's in church really there for salvation in to help people but you have some people there just for a fashion show and just like it's an old common thing but the more they pretend the more these stories come out and pretty soon <laughs> they all gonna be empty because guess what you can only fool the people for so long y'all have a blessed day i am out